Hello guys, uh, in this tutorial we are going to implement how to swap two numbers without using a TARD integer. So uh, this is a logic guys that I am going to explain uh, in my UiPath studio. So uh, this question has been asked by Srinivas Reddy uh, in my uh, UiPath, uh, UiPath tutorials in YouTube section. So I am implementing this concept even if you have few other doubts let me know in a comment section so that I will take few of them and I will try to put them as a tutorial. Okay. So uh, let me get started here. I am taking a new sequence. Swapping numbers. Okay. So since I need two integers here, so I need two variables. So to read from the keyboard, I am using input dialog box here. So this will be like number one and the title will be enter number one. The same thing for the number two as well. So the title will be like enter number two. I'm creating the variable for the second input box sorry second input dialog box so if you observe in the variable pane these are generic values guys so uh, I need to create two other variables which is number one sorry create variable uh, yeah, here number one which is of integer type and number two again of integer type number two of integer type okay i'll use assign activity to convert that generic variable to the integer types here okay number one is equal to number one and one more assign activity which will be converting number of generic type to the number 2 of integer type okay this will convert our case guys now let's try to uh, use as an activity then what I'll do here is couple of steps guys first as I explained here first calculate the sum of number 1 and number 2 and assign that to the number 1 okay so this will be like number one plus number two number two assign that to number one okay this step got completed then what you can do is take another assign activity as i said here then calculate whatever the result that you have got it here of the previous uh, number minus number two you can do and assign that to the number two here okay so simple number one minus number two will be assigned to the number two variable okay then take another assign activity then use the same operation but assign it to the number one guess okay as I explained it here, so this number two will be the value of the previous number, uh, previous as an activity. So here, number one minus number two will be assigned to the number one. Okay. So before executing this, let me explain the logic here. Simple. I have two variables five and seven. I am calculating the sum that will be twelve. Then number two will be number 1 minus number 2 that is 12 minus 7 this will be 5 and the number 1 so as you can see number 2 is already swap out to the number 1 value okay now we need to swap the number 1 to number 2 to do that we have 12 12 minus this value that is 5 this will be result in the 7 which is a number 2 that's how we can swap two numbers without using the tart variable okay so let me use message box here and what I can type is after swap after swap 
number one is we can use something like this number one and number two is number two okay the same way what happened here okay we need to convert this to the string types here number two dot two string okay the same thing i can use in the print statement before the swap guys so that it will be easy for us to understand so here okay so here after swap so it will be like before swap before swap so now let me execute this sequence and let's see how the values are coming so I have given as I explained in the way in the example let me give number 1 as 5 and number 2 as 7 before swap number 1 is 5 number 2 is 7 that's covered and after swap number 2 is 7 number sorry number 1 is 7 number 2 is 5 that's how it swapped guys let me execute one more time with a different set of values okay so number 1 I'm taking 12 number 2 I'm taking 13 okay so the before swap number 1 is 12 number 2 is 13 right after the swap number 1 is 13 number 2 is 12 that is how we can use uh, this logic to swap two numbers without using the third uh, third variable okay uh, so let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt and please do explore other tutorials in my uh, same playlist and do subscribe to my channel for more tutorials thank you for watching thank you